Last year was definitely the toughest tax year yet for crypto investors and will likely get a little worse before it gets better. Hello, I'm Crypto Casey, and in this video, we are going to talk about the importance of reporting all of our cryptocurrency investment activities, including buying, selling, trading, and staking cryptocurrencies, as well as NFTs. And if you stick around until the end of this video, we are going to explore one of the simplest and most cost-effective services available at the time of this video that will make our crypto tax reporting process easier and more efficient. If you enjoy content where we discuss topics like taxes and explore products and services we can use to make our lives easier, let me know by liking this video, subscribing to my channel, and clicking the bell notification to stay up to date on all the latest videos. Before we get started, I want to do a quick shout out to NordVPN. As a crypto investor, using a VPN is an easy, effective, and important way we can further protect our investments, data, and privacy. You can access the correct and official site by using the link in the description area below. This link also allows you to redeem their two-year plan at a 70% discount plus one month free of protection. Cool. There is rampant scamming activity happening in the finance and crypto space right now, with people and bots creating duplicate social media accounts of influencers and educators in the financial space like myself. The only official accounts I have are listed in the description area of these videos. Anything not listed in the description area of these videos is 100% a scam. I will never direct message you. I will never ask you for money or crypto. I will never ask you to install profit generating or mining software on your computer. I do not offer consulting services and I do not offer investment services or anything remotely similar. So only use the links in the description area to access my only official accounts. And please make sure to report any other scam profiles that try to follow you, message you, because their only goal is to try to steal your money in crypto. So stay vigilant in these crazy times, crypto fam. Awesome, let's talk taxes. March 5th, 2022. Congress and the IRS makes moves to improve taxpayer compliance for cryptocurrency transactions. Virtual currency disclosure on Form 1040. Beginning with Notice 2014-21, the IRS has consistently taken the view that cryptocurrencies are property for U.S. federal income tax purposes. Absent any specific statutory or regulatory exception, U.S. individual taxpayers are generally required to report gains realized on the sale of property, including cryptocurrency, and pay tax on these gains. To remind taxpayers of this requirement, Form 1040 now specifically asks taxpayers whether they have received, sold, exchanged, or otherwise disposed of any financial interest in any virtual currency. March 8, 2022. Cryptocurrency owners beware. The IRS is trying to strip away excuses for millions of people who aren't complying with the tax rules on them, either inadvertently or on purpose. So basically, you're playing with fire if you don't report it. What happens if you don't disclose crypto activity this tax season? If you don't report transactions and face an IRS audit, you may be hit with interest, penalties, or even criminal charges. And they are not joking. They've already been doing this for the past couple of years now. In fact, I had to pay over $166,000 to the IRS in 2020 alone, which part of it was regular income tax, a lot of long and short-term capital gains from crypto activity, and some of that included interest and penalties from just not being timely. No failures to disclose or anything, it just took a lot longer than I expected to get everything sorted and ready to file. My tax return was literally over 800 pages long or something ridiculous with all of the trading activity for the year. And check this out, I couldn't even upload my tax return to some financial institution's websites when doing some property investments because the file was too big. So yes, you do have to pay taxes on cryptocurrency. If you sell or exchange cryptocurrency, you'll have to pay capital gains taxes. If you receive crypto as payment or if you mine it, it's taxable income. And yes, you have to pay taxes on the sale of NFTs. The IRS treats NFTs, short for non-fungible tokens, the same as it does for any other real world investment. So when you trade any crypto like Bitcoin, Ethereum, or any other cryptocurrency for fiat or cash like the US dollar, that is a taxable event. When you trade crypto for another crypto, a lot of taxable events are occurring. If you sell the cryptocurrency for cash less than 12 months from when you first bought it, the transaction is subject to short-term capital gains, which is your regular income tax. While if you sell the same crypto for cash more than 12 months after you bought it, you only have to pay the long-term capital gains tax rate, which is generally 15%. Any rewards you receive from staking, airdrops, mining, interest from lending or providing liquidity to liquidity pools, gains realized from NFTs, 
any extra crypto you earn from participating in and interacting with DeFi protocols or from regular centralized exchanges is all taxable income. Yes, crazy. Here's the deal. Do not mess with the IRS. Sure, they can't get everyone in the short term right now, but all of our transactions are on the blockchain, a decentralized, transparent, immutable ledger of every single move that we make. Financial auditing is simpler than you think with this new technology. And if the IRS wants you, they will get you 100%. And since crypto is new bleeding edge technology that is gaining popularity and adoption at a quick pace, this is what the IRS will do. They are going to tag a few people and make items out of them by throwing the book at them very hard. Even if their transgressions weren't that terrible, the IRS is going to put people in prison, bleed them dry and make their lives a living hell in order to deter other people from not reporting crypto activity. Don't be the person the IRS makes an item out of. It is not worth it. We are all here to learn about and invest in crypto to create a better world and achieve financial freedom. But we can't do that if we don't have our actual physical freedom because we chose not to report crypto activity and go to prison. And just a quick FYI, there is a way you can trade crypto legally, tax-free, using tax-sheltered retirement accounts like IRAs. I personally decided to go with iTrust Capital because they've got the lowest transaction fees of all the other competitors at 1%. Their monthly account fee is non-existent, $0 which is pretty amazing when you consider all the ridiculous fees associated with traditional retirement accounts and actually some of these other crypto retirement accounts. Also very soon, iTrust Capital will be the first and only cryptocurrency retirement provider that will be able to support staking as well as other DeFi related activity. So all staking rewards and similar you accumulate in your retirement account, depending on whether you qualify for a Roth versus a regular IRA, will be tax-free or tax-deferred. Right now, any staking, lending, or liquidity you provide with BlockFi, Voyager, and similar are all treated as taxable income. So DeFi within a retirement account will be exceptionally interesting and beneficial for us from a wealth management standpoint. So if you would like to check them out, make sure to scroll down to the description area below to access iTrust Capital's correct and official site, all while supporting the channel. Awesome. Now that hopefully all of us are making the conscious decision today to report all of our cryptocurrency investment activities to the IRS, Let's explore a simple and easy solution that makes this daunting task simpler and easier all around using CryptoTrader.tax. CryptoTrader.tax at the time of this video is still CryptoTrader.tax. However, they are rebranding soon to their new name, Coin Ledger. So make sure you scroll down to the description area below to access the correct and official site as we will continue to keep the links up to date for you while they finish up their rebrand. I personally started using them to aid in my cryptocurrency tax reporting and I intend to hand it over to my certified public accountant for processing. So let's explore why I chose them over competitors and why I think this is a great service we can all benefit from immensely as cryptocurrency investors during this tax season. Out of all the crypto tax reporting services out there, CryptoTrader.tax was by far the easiest, fastest, and most efficient solution that I came across. And one of the best aspects of their services is that you don't have to pay upfront. You can start calculating your taxes instantly without any obligations and without having to provide any credit card information. So you can use their platform for free. You can import all of your transactions and see all of your complete gains and losses overview for free. And you only have to pay if you want to physically download your tax reports or send them elsewhere. Cool. And once you've gone through their simple four step process, you get the tax forms you need to instantly file yourself, upload to a TurboTax or similar, or hand off to an accountant. Nice. Now let's explore how simple and easy CryptoTrader.tax has made it to process our crypto trading activity. Let's sign up together and do a quick overview of their platform. Using the link in the description area, you will be brought to their sign up page. Select an account type, either an individual user or a tax professional. Most of us are probably individual users. Enter your email address, create a password, confirm the password, and click the checkbox to agree to their terms and conditions. Next, you'll be brought to a welcome screen. Click continue. Select your country and currency. They use this to determine the tax rules for your report and to calculate your gains and losses. Then you will need to select each crypto platform you have ever used. Note that you can also update this list at a later time if you wish. Also note that they have decentralized exchange options like Uniswap in addition to centralized exchanges like Coinbase and Crypto.com. You can also choose the other account option if you do not see a platform you used on this list. Once you're finished making your selections, click next. You will need to access the email account you used to sign up in order to verify your email address. Complete the email verification and you should see this confirmation page. 
Click Let's Go to continue to your dashboard. Here you will see the crypto platforms you selected as well as an option to add more accounts. Nice. So at the top here, you can see the four simple steps we will take in order to generate our tax reports. Import, classify, review, and we will get our tax reports. Step one is to import your crypto trades. Start by importing your crypto trading history from all years and from all exchanges into the app. CryptoTrader.tax will automatically establish cost basis and fair market value for these transactions using historical data. So here on our dashboard, we can add an account and then connect the account. If it's a decentralized exchange like Uniswap, you simply paste your Ethereum public wallet address in the field provided to connect it. Or if it's a centralized exchange like Coinbase, you can either import transaction reports you downloaded from Coinbase by uploading the files here, or you can connect your account by signing into Coinbase here. Once all of the platforms you ever used throughout your crypto journey are connected and all trading activity has been imported, then you can move on to step two, add crypto income. Here you can add any historical crypto income such as mining, gifts, or even exchange rewards like airdrops. And if none of this applies to you, this step can be skipped. So here on our dashboard, you can click step two called classify here. In this section, you can classify any deposits or withdrawals you made. If you were just transferring crypto between your own wallets for storage, those are non-taxable self-wallet transfers. If you need to classify deposits or withdrawals you didn't make to or from yourself, like if you received a gift, airdrop, rewards from staking, mining, or similar, you can classify those here by clicking the classify more button and choosing from any of your accounts to classify any transactions you need for accurate reporting. And if you have more questions about how this step works, you could click on the learn how it works button to read about it, or you can also reach out to the CryptoTrader.tax support team. Their helpful and responsive support team is another reason I highly recommend giving them a try. They pride themselves on having the best customer support in the industry, where they work with you real time to answer crypto tax questions and help you use the platform. Cool. So once you've classified any deposits or withdrawals in step two, you can move on to step three, where you generate your tax report. Once all of your transaction history has been imported, the final step is to review your data and generate your report. In this review section, you might receive a missing cost basis warning. This happens when the software detects a transaction where you receive crypto without classifying how you got it and the price you acquired it for. You can avoid this by making sure all of the platforms you've ever used throughout your crypto journey are connected to CryptoTrader, as well as accurately classifying any transactions necessary in step two of this process. If you go to the review tab in step three, you can click on each transaction that was flagged to see the potential impact it could have on your tax report. So if you need more assistance with this part, you can read Crypto Trader's guide all about missing cost spaces here, or you can reach out to their support team and they will help you get everything sorted. Nice. Now we can move on to the fourth and final step, which is step four, file your crypto taxes. After your report is generated, you can simply import it into your favorite tax software, such as TurboTax or Tax Act, to file yourself or send it off to your accountant to handle for you. Here in the dashboard at step four, you can see your capital gains as well as your total income. You can see the calculation method used, your total trades, and you can add a tax professional via email to send them your reports. Amazing. Now to download your tax reports to file yourself, file with a TurboTax or similar, or provide to a tax professional, you need to upgrade. This upgrade involves completing a one-time purchase, which is once per tax season that you choose to use their services. So if you had less than 100 crypto trades, their hobbyist plan is $49. If you did between 101 and 1500 trades, their day trader plan is $99. If you did between 1,501 and 5,000 trades, their high volume plan is 199. And if you did over 5,000 trades, their unlimited plan is 299. All of which is a small price to pay for a peace of mind and a relatively painless crypto tax reporting process. So if you're interested in checking out your tax situation, scroll down to the description area below to check out CryptoTrader.tax, which is soon becoming CoinLedger by clicking on this link. Awesome. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell notification to stay up to date on all my latest crypto content. So what did you think about CryptoTrader.tax? Are you going to check them out to figure out your crypto tax situation? What other resources are you planning to use to process your crypto taxes? Let me know in the comments below. Be safe out there.